Now time for members' statement. Member from Huron, Bruce. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, I rise today to thank the members from Ottawa, Orleans, as well as Toronto, Danforth, because this morning they sponsored a breakfast whereby we heard one side of the neonicotinoid issue in Ontario. The, the speaker was from France, and he, and he shared a lot of good information. But I want to make sure that in this House we have balance in information that we access and we understand in order to make informed decisions. And I just want to share with everyone that right now, here in Ontario, many farmers are being left in the dark. Regulations are not clear, and this government would not give the details that farmers are looking for. I recently read an article by Lindsay Smith. Actually, it was published uh, just yesterday, May 27th. And this reporter was fiercely trying to get, find information and get answers on neonic regulations. The reporter contacted the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, OMAFRA, um, the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change Minister's Office directly, all to no avail. And the worst case scenario was concluded by the reporter in saying that MOECC is really out to get pesticide use in agriculture, but the best case scenario, Speaker, is that they're incompetent. Speaker, Ontario farmers just ask that their industry be predictable, bankable, and sustainable. And we need answers before July 1st. Thank you very much. Thank you.